In other ways, not exactly. Little House on the Prairie is a beloved American television series that has been enjoyed by generations. It's based on Laura Ingalls Wilder's collection of children's books, and it depicts the life of the Ingalls family in the Wedding Honors Midwest. The show is admired not only for its portrayal of a simpler time, but also for its unforgettable characters. Sadly, some of the actors have passed away over the years. No nails. Michael Landon, born Eugene Morris Orovitz, was a prominent figure in the world of television, known for his acting, writing, directing, and producing. He first gained recognition for his role as little Joe Cartwright in the popular series Bonanza. However, it was his portrayal of Charles Ingalls in Little House on the Prairie that truly solidified his status as a beloved cultural icon. In Little House on the Prairie, Landon brought to life the character of Charles Ingalls, a loving and hardworking father who moved his family from Wisconsin to the untamed wilderness of Plum Creek, Minnesota in the late 1800s. The show, based on Laura Ingalls Wilder's series of children's books, followed the Ingalls family's struggles and triumphs as they navigated life on the frontier. Throughout the series, Landon showcased his ability to convey warmth, humor, and depth, making Charles Ingalls a relatable and endearing character for audiences of all ages. He also demonstrated his versatility as a storyteller, contributing as a writer, director, and producer for the show. Michael Landon's impact on television and popular culture extends beyond his work on Little House on the Prairie. His roles in Bonanza and Little House on the Prairie have become timeless, captivating generations of viewers with their wholesome values and engaging narratives. Sadly, Landon's life was cut short when he passed away on July 1, 1991, due to pancreatic cancer. He left behind a legacy of impactful roles and a strong emphasis on family values, which continue to resonate with audiences today. Despite his untimely passing, Michael Landon's work and contributions to the world of television remain an enduring testament to his talent and dedication. It's very kind of you to give me this moment. Victor French, a well-known actor, became a household name for his role as Isaiah Edwards in the beloved 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie. His portrayal of the kind-hearted and rugged woodsman earned him a special place in the hearts of fans. French's collaboration with Michael Landon, who played Charles Ingalls in the series, didn't end with Little House on the Prairie. After the show, they continued to work together in the popular series Highway to Heaven. In this series, French played a crucial role as Jonathan Smith's earthbound guardian angel, which aired from 1984 to 1989. Beyond his acting career, Victor French was a man of compassion and charity. He was particularly involved with children's organizations, dedicating his time and resources to making a difference in young lives. Tragically, French passed away on June 15, 1989 after a battle with lung cancer. His untimely death shocked his fans, and he was deeply missed by his colleagues and friends in the industry. Despite his passing, his work and contributions continue to resonate with fans to this day. Victor French was more than just an actor. He was a man who touched the lives of many, both on and off the screen, leaving behind a lasting legacy that continues to endure. And then in the winter, all you do is dream about it. <laughs> I know what you mean. Richard Bull, known for his role as Nels Olsen in the 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie, was a patient and respected shopkeeper in the show. His calm demeanor and steady presence made him a beloved character among viewers. Bull's career as an actor spanned several decades, and he continued to act in various shows and films after Little House on the Prairie. Some of his notable appearances include Murder, She Wrote, and the film Valkyrie. Throughout his career, Richard Bull was known for his professionalism and dedication to his craft. He was highly respected by his peers and fans alike, and his work will continue to be remembered and appreciated. Richard Bull passed away on February 3, 2014, at the age of 89. His legacy as an actor and his contributions to the world of television will not be forgotten. He will always be remembered for his memorable role as Nels Olsen in Little House on the Prairie, as well as his many other notable performances. Catherine MacGregor is best known for her role as Harriet Olsen in the beloved 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie. 
Her portrayal of the gossipy, nosy, and sometimes frustrating character was a memorable one, making a significant impact on the show's audience. Before her time on Little House on the Prairie, MacGregor had already built an impressive career on stage, performing in various theater productions. However, it was her complex and nuanced performance as Harriet Olsen that brought her to the attention of a wider audience. Following the end of Little House on the Prairie, MacGregor decided to retire from screen acting. Instead, she focused her energy on theater and spiritual pursuits. She became deeply involved in the practice of transcendental meditation and even traveled to India to study with its founder, Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. MacGregor's contributions to the world of entertainment and her spiritual pursuits continued until her passing on November 13, 2018 at the age of 93. Her legacy as Harriet Olsen lives on, enduring as a testament to her talent and versatility as an actress. Through her portrayal of Harriet Olsen, MacGregor left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape, and her performance continues to captivate audiences to this day. Her work on Little House on the Prairie remains a beloved part of television history, and her contributions to the world of theater and spirituality will not be forgotten. Well, fast asleep. Another half hour won't hurt. Have... Kevin Hagen, best known for his role as Dr. Hiram Baker in the beloved 1974 television series Little House on the Prairie in Body Care and Community Values. Hagen's portrayal of the wise and compassionate doctor resonated with audiences, contributing to the show's enduring popularity. After his work on Little House, Hagen continued acting in various TV shows and movies including Gunsmoke, Days of Our Lives, and The Gambler Returns the Luck of the Draw. However, his career took an artistic turn when he discovered a new passion for painting. This led to the opening of his own art gallery, where he showcased his work and provided a space for other artists to display their creations. Kevin Hagen's life and career were not without challenges. In 2005, he passed away at the age of 77 after a battle with esophageal cancer. Despite the adversity he faced, Hagen left behind a lasting impact on the world of television and the arts. His work as Dr. Hiram Baker remains a testament to his talent and the values he held dear. Fans of Little House on the Prairie continue to cherish Hagen's portrayal of Dr. Baker as it embodies the caring and community-oriented spirit of the show. Hagen's ability to bring such a memorable character to life is a true testament to his skill as an actor. His contributions to the world of television and art will not be forgotten, and his legacy lives on through his work and the memories he created for audiences around the world. Very good. You're still going to show him off this morning. Come on, boy. Dabs Greer is best known for his role as Reverend Robert Alden in the 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie. His portrayal of the Reverend added depth to the show, and his authenticity and versatility as an actor left a lasting impression on viewers. Greer had a significant career in film and television, spanning several decades. He appeared in numerous TV shows, including Gunsmoke, The Rifleman, and Bonanza. His film credits include The Green Mile, where he played the role of the elderly prison guard and in Inherit the Wind. Throughout his career, Greer demonstrated his ability to portray a wide range of characters, from religious figures to law enforcement officers and everything in between. His talent for bringing authenticity to his roles made him a favorite among directors and audiences alike. Dabs Greer passed away on April 28, 2007, at the age of 90. His legacy as an actor lies on, and his contributions to the world of television and film will not be forgotten. His work continues to resonate with audiences, and his ability to create memorable characters will be cherished for generations to come. About, uh, qu qu Quarantine? Quarantine, yeah. Quarantine, that's a shame. Merlin Olson, a former professional football player, made a successful transition to acting with his role as Jonathan Garvey in the beloved 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie. His portrayal of the kind and hardworking farmer left a lasting impression on audiences, and he continued to act in subsequent series such as Father Murphy. In addition to his acting career, Olsen also worked as a sports commentator, providing commentary for NBC's coverage of the NFL in the 1980s. He was known for his thoughtful insights and ability to analyze the game in a way that was both informative and engaging for viewers. Beyond his professional accomplishments, Olsen was also a dedicated philanthropist. He established the Merlin Olson Foundation, which supported various charitable causes including cancer research and assisting underprivileged children. 
Tragically, Olson passed away on March 11, 2010, at the age of 69 due to mesothelioma, a type of cancer that affects the lining of the lungs. His death was a loss for both the entertainment and sports worlds, as well as the many charitable organizations he supported. Despite his untimely passing, Olson's legacy lives on through his memorable performances, insightful sports commentary, and the many lives he touched through his philanthropic efforts. His contributions to the world of entertainment and sports, as well as his dedication to giving back to his community, will not be forgotten. How much you've counted that money five times? I uh, know. Just want to be sure. Just have Queenie Smith, an actress of great elegance and warmth, graced the television series Little House on the Prairie with her portrayal of Mr. Sims. Spanning from silent films to television, Smith's career was both prolific and distinguished. Born in 1898, Smith began her career in the early days of Hollywood, appearing in silent films. As the film industry evolved, so too did Smith's career, and she transitioned seamlessly into talkies or films with sound. Throughout her career, she appeared in numerous films, including The Women and The Music Man. However, it was her role in Little House on the Prairie that endeared her to audiences in the 1970s. As Mr. Sims, Smith brought a sense of warmth and grace to the show, endearing herself to viewers with her authentic performances. Smith's career was not limited to film, however. She also appeared in numerous television shows, including The Love Boat and Fantasy Island. Her work in television showcased her versatility as an actress, and she was equally at home in both comedic and dramatic roles. Tragically, Smith passed away on August 5, 1978, at the age of 79. Her passing was a loss not only to the entertainment industry, but also to the countless fans who had come to love her through her work. Smith's legacy is one of grace and authenticity. Her ability to embody a range of characters, from the elegant mistress Sims to the comedic roles she played later in her career, is a testament to her talent and versatility. Her work continues to resonate with audiences today, and she remains a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. I know, and I understand. I hope I'm right. And it's finally Steve Tracy, an actor known for his dynamic and vibrant performances, brought the character of Percival Dalton to life in the 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie. Initially introduced as a stern businessman, Tracy's portrayal of Percival evolved over time, revealing a loving and caring figure. His ability to showcase the complexities and depth of his character was truly captivating. Unfortunately, Tracy's promising career was cut short when he passed away on November 27, 1986, at the young age of 34 due to complications from AIDS. Despite his untimely death, his contribution to Little House on the Prairie remains a significant one. He is fondly remembered for his vibrant energy and the depth he brought to his acting. Tracy's portrayal of Percival Dalton was a memorable one, leaving a lasting impact on viewers. His ability to transform a stern businessman into a loving figure was a testament to his acting prowess. His work in Little House on the Prairie will continue to be cherished by audiences for years to come. Anything I want to be. You want to be white boy? Can't be that. <laughs>